Okay, welcome to question number seven, part A. So we've got to prove that sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta is identical to 2 cosec 2 theta. And to do this, what I do is I look at the more complicated side and I think you'll find that it's the left hand side, it consists of two terms here and what we've got to do is get it down to one term. So I would feel that I'll start with the left hand side and show that it's identical to the right hand side. Okay so let's put up here proof. Okay. Now I generally prefer to copy this down but uh, some of you might just write LHS for left hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down here anyway. Sine theta then over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. Now, this is going to be identical to something and uh, we've got to prove eventually it's going to be 2 cosec 2 theta. Well, the first thing that I see is that I've got one term over here and yet I've got two terms here. And so to create one term, I want to put this over a lowest common multiple of cos theta and sine theta. In other words, express it as one fraction. So that lowest common multiple of cos theta sine theta will be cos theta times sine theta. And then to write the values on the top here, I would say to myself, what do I multiply cos theta by to get cos theta sine theta? And that would be sine theta. So I must do the same to the top here. So that would be sine theta times another sine theta, which I'm going to call sine squared theta. Then we've got the plus. And similarly, what do I multiply the sine theta here by to get cos theta sine theta? And that would be cos theta. So I must multiply the top here by cos theta. And that's going to give me cos squared theta. OK. Now, hopefully you recognize that sine squared plus cos squared theta is going to give me 1. It's a well-known identity. Sine squared A plus cos squared A is always going to come to 1. So this will be 1 over cos theta sine theta. OK. Now at this point, I'm trying to get some ideas about where this is going to be going if I'm to get 2 cosec 2 theta. Now cosec is 1 over sine, so this part here, cosec 2 theta, is 1 over sine 2 theta. And I'm starting to think now, what is sine 2 theta the same as? Do you remember your identities? Sine 2a, sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a, or 2 cos a sine a. So I can see this is on the denominator almost, except I haven't got that 2 there. So what I can do is times top and bottom of this fraction here by the same value, so it will keep it exactly the same. And if I choose 2, that's going to be to my advantage. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So I get 2 over 2 cos theta sine theta. And if I do that, 2 cos theta sine theta is sine 2 theta. So things are starting to look quite good now. So I've got 2 over sine 2 theta. This is 2 times 1 over sine 2 theta. In other words, 2 cosec 2 theta. So this is identical to 2 cosec 2 theta. Alright? Okay. If you put LHS for the left hand side here and you put that it was identical to all of these and followed it through you should really finish off with is identical to RHS the right hand side 
Okay. Right, so that brings us to the end of part A.